okay, Whirlpool Duet, FO2 code, that means it does not drain, it's full of water in, I've checked the filter, it's clean, so that means that I need to change the drain pump. Okay, so let's repair uh, this uh, Whirlpool Duet uh, washer. So you'll need to remove that uh, bottom uh, front panel here. There's three screws under it. It's a uh, seven millimeter socket screw or a T20 uh, bit screwdriver. So I already uh, removed them. Now the second thing you will uh, need to do is remove here that I've already done. There's uh, another uh, torque screw here, T20. You remove that. After this, you're gonna pull uh, towards you because there's two rubber grommet holding it there in place so you need to pull towards you and lift so now you can bring it in the front here just like that now you will need because uh, uh, the laundry washer is uh, still full of water, it didn't drain. You need to empty it, to empty it, you need to unscrew this to uh, let the water uh, come out. You need something low uh, to uh, catch the water. What I did is just use a, a pan, just like that. And you just unscrew this like that and you let it drain. Oh, looks like there's a bit more water in it. So you unscrew this, you pull on it and there's, this is a filter. So all the crap gets caught here before going into that pump. So let's empty it again so there's no more water because I did it before so now you're good to uh, remove that uh, faulty pump drain pump uh, that pump is uh, holding in place there's three screws holding it there's one here one on the other side and one at the bottom now uh, already uh, removed the one in the back one at the bottom and I'm gonna remove uh, this one Uh, by the way, uh, you need a Phillips screwdriver for those three screws. Now, oh, I forgot to remove the wire here, that connector here. Just put push on the tab at the top of the connector and pull on it. Just like that. And now you can take off the pump. So here's the pump that I just removed. It was making sound uh, like the motor was working, but nothing happened. But 
You know what? Something's wrong with that. As you can see here, the shaft just broke in half. Probably uh, rusted out and it just broke. The motor is still good, but that's what failed on that drain pump. Uh, my uh, washer is about uh, 21 years old and it's the only issue I had yet with it. So now we're ready to install uh, the new one. Okay, so here's my new pump. It's pretty uh, similar. Looks okay, just uh, got that one from Amazon. I'll leave uh, the link uh, in the description of the video. The only difference is there's only three blade uh, impeller instead of four. But looks about the same. So I'm going to check if it fits. Look, it's the same. Now, need to put the screws. The other one right there. Sorry, my hands are in front of the camera. Okay, just look uh, around the pump if it looks uh, well seated. Nice and snug. Last one at the bottom. Just like that. the pump is installed <clears throat> now you need to plug back that connector at a 90 degree like that at the top anyway you cannot uh, uh, there's only one way you can plug it back and it's like that just like that. Now you need to put uh, back this here. Push on it. Now it's well seated in there. Uh, gonna put this back in. and tight I'm gonna put back that screw here and by the way this is still a t20 
like that. So, as simple as that. Now I'm gonna put back uh, the current on it, uh, open the water. I'm not gonna put the panel uh, uh, this time. I'm gonna try uh, the washer, check for any leaks, and if is everything is good after that, I'll put that uh, back the front panel. Oh, almost done. Less than one minute left to the cycle. There was a lot of cloth in there because it took about a week uh, for the uh, drain pump to arrive. And of course, everything worked. It. And everything is nice and dry, no leaks, nowhere. Perfect. So I'm going to put back the uh, bottom panel and I can consider uh, my uh, washer fixed. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down there below, and of course, as usual, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.